and you go into Fashion Week and the first thing you have to lose is your ego when you go to Fashion Week because you have to realize it's not about you, the hairdresser, you're doing, it's about the designer and what they're looking for. So you got to deal with all those egos, the the show, the stylist for the show who puts together the, what the looks are going to be and what models wear and what and what the music and what everything is. And then the designer, then you've got the makeup artist and then you've got, you know, the other teams of people. Then you got those cameramen that are always over your shoulder at the wrong time. So it's a very different environment than doing, doing hair at a hair show or doing hair anywhere else. It's not like anything but if you come in a lot of times people come in the hairdressers and they think they're going to come in and go wow i'm going to blow these people away and do something really cool my way well that doesn't work because as soon as you do that you know you throw a kink in the whole show you have to go my way if you're the lead or the lead comes over rips your hair down you know and, and points out you know how stupid you are and how you've messed up everything by doing this because nobody cares what you do they want you to be able to do exactly what they want and so there's no deviation from doing that so it's very interesting for hairdressers to come in so a lot of people think they're going to come in and change the world but then they realize they're you're kind of just a puppet back there so it's mm -hmm. 